Hey, what's going on guys? DJS here. Wanted to show you guys uh, some of my recent pickups. Um, as you guys saw, there were these guys that I got this last weekend. Really happy about. Really like the uh, the neon actually on these. I know um, Indeed didn't like the neon on them. I think they look crazy good with the neon and of course the gum soles um, are just uh, wicked on those things. But wanted to show you these guys first and then I'll show you guys some of the t-shirts and, and uh, the hat a little bit more in depth. Um, these are the LeBron, um, Air Max LeBron 10 lows, uh, if you will. And these things uh, were the ones that I was looking forward to getting the most out of any of the lows from the LeBrons. Now, I've heard a lot of people complaining about the LeBron lows. People aren't, aren't feeling them. They're, uh, they're just, they, they think that they dropped the ball on LeBron lows uh, and so on. Uh, I personally like the LeBron lows. I think that they're clean. It kind of reminds me of like Air Maxes. Um, and, uh, but like the basketball, you know, low top version or whatever, obviously. Anyway, uh, I'll show you guys what the label says right here. It says Air Max LeBron 10 Low, 165 retail, and then the color is what's the crazy part of this thing right here, if I can get it to black and total crimson. So um, when you saw pictures of these originally online, or when I saw them at least, I didn't see anything associated with total crimson. I looked at this and, and automatically thought black and orange must have, uh, like obviously if you guys don't know, uh, black and orange is, is my, my um, college colors, and um, I just love the combination, so I was like, yeah, definitely black and orange must have. And uh, and then I saw the the release when when it was actually dropping, and then I saw it said bright crimson. I was like, oh crap! I'm like, what does this mean? So uh, I'm gonna let you guys know right now. Like as you see this video, as you see the pictures of these shoes, if you guys are actually really interested in seeing them, I try to go to Foot Locker and see them in person or uh, House of Hoops or um, I don't know wherever has them in in, in store. Um, try to see them in person because the color is very misleading. And I actually even in store in store in person might be misleading because when you're inside uh, and you're looking at these things and when you're outside in the, in like the super bright sun the color is just different to me um i had a friend look out for me and pick these up they weren't limited or anything i'm sure you guys can pick them up now i mean but it was just one of those ones i really really was looking after um but i had my friend pick them up for me since i wasn't able to get them at the time and uh, i met him outside in the parking lot Grabbed them from him, and me and this other dude uh, were looking at him, and he's like, he warned me, he's like, just so you know, they're not like orange. They're more of a kind of like, I don't know, just they're just not orange like these guys, which are the shoes that I was actually wearing when I when I met them. I wear those a lot. I, I love those shoes. And um, anyway, so I was like, all right, cool. So I pulled them out. And I was like, damn, I'm like, well, what color does this look like like to you, man? And the other dude, I was asking, he's like, man, uh, infrared. Actually, I was like, actually, I'm like, yeah, that's a good call. It does look kind of like infrared. Um, so there, there, I mean, there's that aspect It kind of, kind of does look like an infrared look. Now I wanted to show you since this is bright, um, crimson, so are these actually, which is, which is nuts. These and these are the same color supposedly, uh, with Nike color, color skills here, matching skills. Um, what I noticed though is like, this looks pretty close in some light, some, some light, this looks actually way brighter than it does, like more mango colored than, than crimson, um, or bright crimson, if you will. So I mean, even at that, they're the same exact color, supposedly, but these look brighter than these. And then the soles, I'll show you guys a picture of the soles side by side. Um, you can tell the difference. I mean, they're they're pretty different. This is like super bright, like kind of uh, orangish infrared color, I guess. The bottom ones right here um, are more reddish. Uh, obviously, these are clear. These ones are solid. But still, it just goes to show you guys, like, it's tough sometimes to... to it, it, we know, like, standard colors... Or I, I feel like I know standard colors pretty well, but then there's some colors like this that just completely throw me off. Now, um, I actually really like the shoe regardless of the color mishaps from my end. I really thought that they were more orangish, and I'll show you guys side by side the, the orange differences here. Between this is orange, obviously. Um, this is like definitely like a pinkish, orangish color. Now, now for the big bank, um, cons like I guess comparison of what I'm trying to say here. The big bangs versus those, you can see the difference as well um, for those people that actually have these ones and stuff. So definitely a different color than what I anticipated. I still really like this color though. I think that this is a solid colorway. I think that the way that they designed this one, it really pops out obviously with the, the fly wire and stuff on the sides. The laces are, are fresh. I like the, uh, the tongue right here with, with uh, the LeBron tongue. The insole is black. Uh, the collar is really um, that really bright color as well. Highlighted swoosh around. And then you can't really see it very well, but the inside of the air pocket is actually speckled black, which I thought was kind of rad. Then you have that bright sole as well. 
all in all, I think this is a solid colorway, and this is one of those ones. Like when people, uh, and I saw Nightwing just po posted a uh, <laughs> uh, some something about somebody asking him like which shoe she he should buy. It's like one of those things we as YouTubers don't really like to hear those type of questions of like, hey, which one should I buy? This foam posit or this shoe? It's the bottom line is you should buy what you like. If you are asking somebody else for their opinion, um, it's, it's not the best way to go about figuring out <laughs> which. Well, you shouldn't be using our opinion as to what you like. You should have an opinion on your yourself and develop your own opinion on something whether or not you like A or B type shoe. This is one of those shoes that I don't care if they sit in shelves, if there's zero hype on them. I really, really like these shoes and I was going to get these ones one way or the other and I ended up um, getting them luckily for myself. But but yeah, just kind of a disclaimer out there. Just buy what you guys like. Um, if it's not the most popular shoe on the block, don't worry about it. If you like it, you like it. Um, all right, moving on. Show you guys some of the other pickups. Obviously, again, those ones, another one that I really like and I'm glad I got. And they're still sitting around. I'm pretty sure you guys can get them at retail. Um, undefeated hat. I went to Compound in uh, Portland and uh, and just was shopping around there and ended up picking up this hat right here, the undefeated hat. You can see the strikes in the back and uh, the undefeated. And I just like it because it's, it's black and uh, red and white. I mean, blazer colors. And I have a lot of clothes themed around this colorway as well as like the orange and, orange and black. Um, oh yeah, the other thing I wanted to show you guys real quick, the, the speckled sole on these guys right here, these are the Sprite Lows, and I'll have a comparison video between the Elites, the Lows, and, and the regular Tens, um, later. This one doesn't have a speckled midsole, but, but I think that's the one thing that they could have probably added was a speckled midsole right there. I think that would have actually looked pretty clean as well. So I always like to like look at a shoe and then think, oh, what could have I done? What would have I done better or different? Not necessarily better, but different in my opinion, um, and the, the video I posted yesterday about the uh, the um, Elephant Print 5, somebody mentioned having instead the blue hits, have them red. And I was like, dude, genius idea in my eyes like that. That would have looked so, so crazy if they did the the accents in those um, as uh, as red instead. I, a lot of people are still hating on those shoes, but I will see what happens when, when they release. I have a feeling people would be changing their minds. Anyway, show you guys these uh, t-shirts real quick. Stussy shirt has the compound logo in the inside of the skull, which I think is just dope. Um, and look at, uh, yeah, the, I don't know, it just looks rad. looks kind of like the undefeated thing right there. Um, Stussy, this is a tank top, and then I have the, uh, so this is a tank top version, then I also have the t-shirt version. This is on the back side of the, the uh, t-shirt, and it's Stussy in the compound in Portland, and it's uh, the Bridges t-shirt, so these are all the Bridges, like in Portland, Burnside, Morrison, uh, Broadway, Hawthorne, Fremont, and the Steel. So like, these are like the, the Bridges in Portland, and it's Portland-specific store, um, and a Portland specific collaboration. So I really saw that and I was like dope when they were um, tweeting it like on on um, When they were tweeting on Instagram when they were tweeting about it and, and I saw the pictures on Instagram I was like dope. I, you know, I was hoping I was gonna be able to get in and get my size I wasn't able to go the day of the launch, but I went the day after and, and I ended up uh, super the t-shirts a double XL Though it's gonna be a little bit big, but hopefully it shrinks down a little bit for me And then while I was in there I grabbed this guy because I saw this and I was like dude uh, Staple uh, went in on this T-shirt. Really, really thought this was awesome. Look at this. I have a big, <laughs> I have a big black bear down on the floor next to me right here. Should we give this to Lola? Here you go, Lola. <laughs> That's Chloe. I don't know. Chloe throws this bear around like nothing. This is Lola. But Chloe just grabs that bear and throws it around like and plays with it. She's just silly. Anyway, the uh, the world renowned Staple TKO game over, and then you can see the guy that's knocked out, which is usually the player. Um, has a little staple of uh, pigeons around it. And uh, you can see Mike Tyson here with his, his face tattoo and stuff. I thought this was dope, dude. I'm a huge Nintendo buff. If you guys don't know, I do have a, a gaming channel as well. It is in the description. Uh, and uh, I actually hit 39,000 subscribers the other day, which is crazy. But uh, on that channel, I'm only, I don't know when I'm at this one, but 39,000 on that one. But uh, this is a rad t-shirt. It's, it's just white and... Um, like just, I mean, hits of kind of black and red and stuff too as well. So I was like, dope. Really like that shirt. And that's kind of the pickups, man. Nothing uh, too too insane, but definitely fun for myself. I wish I had some MVP LeBrons here for you guys, but I got these guys instead. Um, I appreciate you guys for watching. I got a bunch of videos lined up again. I know I've been pumping them out like crazy. I just had so many lined up uh, and still, uh, still got a, a bunch more, as well as some cool ideas coming up uh, for you guys to be more interactive with me. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll let you guys know about that hopefully the next day or two. Uh, just It's nothing crazy, but it's kind of fun. We'll have a good one. We'll catch you guys later. Peace.